When someone says dinosaur, what do you think of? Scaly lizards? Scary beasts? Perhaps you think they all died out. Well, darling, you'd be wrong. We would like to take you through an evolution, diving into recent research from the forefront of new discoveries. We have made digital replicas of these remarkable reptiles and what we suspect these creatures actually looked like. What if dinosaurs are still with us? You may know this clever girl by name from Jurassic Park. The actual velociraptor was quite a bit smaller, about the size of a turkey. Research also shows that a somewhat less naked version would be more correct. Fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous and ferocious. This fierce feathered predator was able to hunt and kill prey of her own size. One might say she was dressed to quill. <laughs> the Anchiornis huxleyi belonged to the family of Paravis, which means he is more closely related to birds than to crocodiles. Crocodile be damned. These guys had well-developed jumping skills, which also came in handy for gliding between trees. They had wings on their arms and legs, as well as a handsome fringe on their tail. Most likely, this increase in surface area meant they glided rather than flew. Confucius Ornis, about the size of a regular urban pigeon. He had no teeth and is currently the oldest known bird to have had a beak just as we know them today. His curved foot claws are also amongst the traits he shares with modern perching birds, suggesting that perhaps Confucius Ornis may have led a similar lifestyle. The more that we learn about these animals, the more we find that ancient creatures live amongst us in the form of modern birds. Next time you look at a pigeon, perhaps consider the fact that it traveled 150 million years to get here. Brush away the dust and the ashes, uncover raptors, dinosauring to the skies, only to dive back down and strike once more. Whether you like it or not, dinosaurs still live amongst us. They never left. <laughs>